Lee, what the hell is up with your party? <laughs> well, I mean, we've talked about um, voter suppression down there in North Carolina before. There are things, obviously, I don't agree with it. You know, I don't... Yeah, with the, with no, the, no, no, no. This goes beyond voter suppression. I mean, these are people who literally, Democrat Cooper wins. They said, okay, fine. We're going to strip the power from you to appoint folks to commissions, to boards of regents, to appoint the people on the board of elections. We're going to completely refigure the state board of elections. We're going to combine it with the ethics committee. Uh-oh, another election. Democrats get four out of the seven seats on the Supreme Court. They literally, they literally tried to change the law to strip the state Supreme Court, the highest court in the state, of most of its power and give it to the court that's underneath the state Supreme Court. That's your party. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't make excu any excuses for what they did in North Carolina. I don't have any explanation for why they did what they did. I don't condone it. Spencer. You know, I think that this is a problem. I think it's a problem we see, you know, Mitch McConnell in terms of uh, holding open this seat. It's this notion of how do we use institutions to maximize our power and push it? And the question is, you know, are Democrats going to do this and is this just going to be a race to the bottom? Of course. <laughs> of course they no, are. No, no, actually, no, you're wrong. <laughs> Democrats are going to do it. No, actually, no, you're wrong. You, okay. No, no, please. We'll see. No, 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 I, no, no. Show me the, show me the evidence. Mm -hmm. Where Show me the evidence. I'll wait where Democrats have retaliated systematically to say, oh, you're, you're now the governor? Oh, we're now going to strip you of Board of Regents appointments. We're going to strip you of State Board of Elections. Because in North Carolina, the law was well, whoever became the governor, that party controlled the majority of the seats. They then stripped it. Sh show me where Democrats have tried to strip the power from the state Supreme Court to an appellate court underneath him. Well, Sh show me. Well, what I was speaking to with Spencer is the climate where we are, that I think that both parties and Democrats really? will definitely do it. Okay, so, both so, so, so explain this to, to me. They can to will this much oh, well, in Congress? They can. In Congress? They're, they're, they're going so explain to do it. it. So explain this to me. When the Democrats would control the United States Senate, when President Barack Obama was there, how did Senator Patrick Leahy, who was head of the Senate Judiciary Committee, how did he still honor the blue slip? Oh, I mean, I... No, 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 no. But, here's, but see, here's why. Thomas Farr, which we're about to talk about. Mm -hmm. Thomas Farr, of course, who is that racist judge in North Carolina who, who Trump guy. wants to yeah. put on the federal bench, mm -hmm. okay? Tom Tillis and Barr, the two Republicans from North Carolina, held up the appointment of two black women to that federal bench, okay? That court in North Carolina, where, where, where you have more than 30% of the black people in North Carolina that it covers, they would not allow even a hearing of those black women. And they did the Patrick, same thing in No, 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 follow me. Patrick Leahy said, our rules are, if you put a blue slip in, I will honor your blue slip. Mitch McConnell, when he got in, he said, damn the blue slip. And not only damn the blue slip of a Democrat, he told Rob Johnson in Wisconsin, damn your blue slip. So pl please show me where Democrats have been as devious when it comes to these federal judicial appointments as Republicans. Well, I, I, I don't, I won't, I won't, I don't know about devious, but I do, I do think I did read How that, about in, shameful? That, that in 2006, Democrats actually blocked Bush's appointee to that same court. The okay. Democrats blocked his, uh, the Okay. Democrats blocked his appointee to the same court. I'm, but, at, I'm, I'm asking you again. But Mitch McConnell is now saying, we're going to take away your ability to block nominees, Democrats. In other words, Democrats, when you were in power, you honored Republicans' ability to block black women being appointed to the court Henry in the uh, we, uh, North Carolina, mean, right? What Mitch McConnell has done is said, hey, we're going to take away your so Democrats ability. Democrats didn't change Senate rules? Yes, Democrats change Senate rules. Okay. Uh, let, me, let, let me walk you through. Democrats change Senate rules when it came to federal bench appointments because Republicans not only systematically blocked everybody, he then, Harry Reid then said, fine, 50 plus one. He said, but I'm going to leave in place the rules that require 60 votes for Supreme Court justice. It was Mitch McConnell when he took over who said, oh, no, no, damn that. We're going to do 51, uh, 51 even for Supreme Court. That's what happened. So when Democrats did it, they, there was a good reason why they did no, it. No, they no, 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 no,
how many judicial openings were available? Remember, remember when Donald Trump said, uh, Obama didn't care about judicial appointments. When I became president, I had 130 open. How do you think you got 130 open? Because they were being blocked by Republicans. Yeah, and, and Democrats are going to do the same thing now, though. That's my whole point. This is politics. Okay, look, first of all, Democrats, Democrats can't do it now. Democrats don't control the United States Senate. But look what just happened to Kavanaugh. I mean, the idea that they're, that they're people are that we exist in tribes and that parties try to undermine each other by wielding no, 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 the no, power no. that they can. Malik, 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 this isn't Malik, something Malik, that Malik, they're going to... Malik, you didn't hear it. Patrick Leahy honored Republicans with the blue slip. Yeah. Mitch McConnell said, I'm not even honoring that rule. So, 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 so Malik, hold on, with this blue slip, one U.S. senator mm -hmm. can hold up a judicial nomination. So yeah. it's not about 50% or 60, mm -hmm. 60 votes, right? One. It's mm -hmm. one can yeah. hold up. And so basically, when Democrats were in control, Republican members, one Republican senator, would hold up these two black women in North Carolina. Okay. Now that Mitch McConnell is in power, he's saying... No, you don't have a blue slip, Democratic senator. You can't hold up our judges. We're going to change the rules. He told Republican, you ain't holding it up. <laughs> Rob Johnson of Wisconsin, Rob Johnson and Tammy Baldwin, Republican and Democrat, Democrat. senators of Wisconsin, both put in blue slips. Chuck Grassley, Mitch McConnell said, the hell with y'all, we're going to put this nominee through. You got federal judges. You got one woman who Trump appointed, who Trump appointed, Ain't she been out of law school 11 years. You had one dude who had never, ever even filed a brief mm -hmm. to put on the federal bench for life. The bottom line is here. What your party is doing in North Carolina is beyond shameful. And you know what? Black Republicans as a group ain't saying jack. Oh, well, I, I can't speak to what... Saying nothing. I, I, I can't speak to what saying Republicans nothing. doing. I'm on this show. Hold on, hold on, they okay. On this show okay, now, hold on, hold on. Here's my question. To. Okay, what's the organization you with? Black Conservative Federation. Has the Black Conservative Federation, as a group, denounced what Republicans are doing in North Carolina? No. Why not? We haven't denounced Democrats either. No, I'm asking, but why not? But I'm saying, but do, we haven't, no, 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 but we what, haven't denounced okay, Democrats either. I'll ask you a question. Do you believe, do you believe what Republicans are doing in North Carolina is that fair? Is it decent? Is it democratic? I don't think so. I've said that every okay, time I've you come said on the it. show. So I'm asking, do you, so as an organization, Colin Powell did it. Colin Powell called out Pat McCr the governor of North Carolina, yeah, to his Powell's face. not the black no, 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 I know that. But I'm trying to explain to you, he did it to the governor's face. What I'm asking That's is, good. we're the conservative federation. Y'all black, right? Mm -hmm. If y'all, do y'all, would y'all as a group, Lead the effort to say to, say to the Republican Party what is happening in North Carolina is shameful and should not happen. Well, I can't speak to what I can't just definitively say what our organization is going to do. I can what, tell, we, I can say what we're focusing okay, on. How about, criminal justice. Okay, well, how about well, so how about, okay, we, we well, can, how about this? Well, no, here's my point. I mean, there are oh, y'all not the Republican Federal Black. What do y'all call black conservative? Y'all the Black Conservative yeah. Federation. Mm -hmm. Can y'all, as a group, actually uh, vote on that? Can we vote on it? Yeah, can y'all as a group vote to, to say, issue a statement? Can y'all as a group it? to say we're gonna issue a statement yeah, of course we calling could. out the Republican Party of North Carolina? Yeah, of course we could. Okay, so how do y'all consider that? Well, I mean, I, I I'm not gonna make any, you know, no, 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 ask you, but, uh, but I, I I've given my comments on it. No, I've given no, no, my... no, I know you're giving your comments. Right. What I'm saying but is But I'm not but I'm not here to speak on behalf of the organization. Okay, on but how about this issue? Will you take it back to your group? Sure, they're watching now. Okay, fine. Well, so will you take it back to your group and say, as a group, I believe that we should speak out on this and take it up. Well, we're, we're judicious in what we choose to speak out on, which is why we're doing now with criminal justice No, but I'm reform. asking you a question. I'm, could this be one of the things y'all put be. on y'all agenda? It could be. Will you put? Will you bring it back to them? I, I, I will definitely mention it when I leave the show. And you're going to bring it back into, for them to consider? I, 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 they're watching the show. We can talk so, about whether so or not So take it back. And so therefore, if they vote up or down, then you'll come back and tell us whether they voted up or down. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. <laughs> why not? But but, but, I, but I will take it back to them. I will do well, that. Well, if you'll take it back to them, what y'all going to do with it? Well, the thing, we, we can focus on what's happening in North Carolina, but again, as the black conservative No, Federation, I'm asking about North Carolina what, right now. What, but what we're more concerned about is working across the aisle, working with criminal justice reform. Is that your only issue? No, it's not. But it's one of the issues that we're really passionate gotcha, about. But what else y'all passionate about? Well, we're black people? We're, we're passionate about black people. We're passionate about economic so y'all passionate, so passionate, so passionate about, about black choice. Oh, good. We're compassionate about Okay, voting. so we're okay, how about this here? Y'all passionate about all of that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, then you can take it back because your same Republican North Carolina split North Carolina a and in half. Mm. Well, they literally say on this side of the street, you belong in one district. On that side of the street, you belong in another district because it's the largest HBCU in the state. Does but that we makes just sense. Have a big gerrymandering. No, 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 no. Let, let me help you again. Let me help you again. They split the school. Uh, yeah, Br bruh. Yeah, the school. 
Yeah, that's they, a problem. No, 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 not the neighborhood. The school. They split the school. That's a problem. Because they don't want the entire campus of North Carolina A and T in one district. Yeah. That's can y'all call that out? I, I, I can't say that we're going to talk about that. Can but, you bring that to the meeting? But we didn't even talk about the case in uh, Maryland. Actually, I have. Talk, you, I said, no, I said the, current, the black conservative No, 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 but I'm asking you about we didn't North Carolina. Talk about Let me go ahead. Go, and then I'm going to go to my, I'm going to take a break and, and go I, my next story, but think, go ahead. I'm, I think Georgetown over here is going to back me up. Um, this judicial nominee issue that we're talking about in North Carolina is a criminal justice reform issue. Do you get the connection mm -hmm. in that if you have a conservative party blocking nominees who are going to put people on the bench who are going to use the massive, I believe, unjust discretion that's available to district court judges right now, that's available on lower courts, so things like sentencing reform mm -hmm. that you're hoping will happen, yeah. well, we don't know when that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But until that happens, you're better off, I promise you, getting a Judge Spencer than you are some of the ones that they would try to block him to put on. So I don't know what the disconnect is where people latch on to one issue, but they don't get how the entirety of the criminal justice system well, is we, we connected. Haven't on, well, we haven't latched on to one issue. It just came up about the Black Conservative Federation. We've been following the First Step Act. We know that the things that we plan on doing as far as the community is concerned. So we're not just latching on. I mean, criminal justice is a pretty, it's a big all umbrella. I'm saying, and it's a lot that goes under criminal justice reform. It would be reform. real nice yeah. If black Republicans were staying up for black people. Well, it would be, I, I, I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. Yeah. I'm not done. I'm not done. It'd be real nice if black Republicans were staying up for black people to their fellow Republicans. Well, That's I, all I, I'm saying. I, 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 I don't I'm disagree saying. with that. No, I'm, I'm just saying, but I, I'd like to see it happen. You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.